Hi again. In the next three videos, we're going to make an animation, trigger that animation with a script, and then export a video of our animation so that we can convert it into an animated GIF. Okay, let's get started. This is where we left off last time. It's not too terribly exciting, but it's a start. To make our scene more interesting, we're going to have to make some 3D objects outside of Unity. Unity is like the stage or the movie set where the action happens. And Blender, which is a free 3D modeling program, is like the workshop where we make our props and our characters. Okay, so open up Blender. And don't worry, uh, I know you're a beginner. This is gonna be really easy. There's a lot of buttons and uh, just a whole mess of a whole bunch of things. Um, but don't worry about that. We're gonna start really easy here. So here you have your default cube. And what I'd like you to do is just press X on your keyboard and delete it. Okay, now press Shift A. And then in mesh here, I want you to go to Taurus. And then go over to shading here uh, and press smooth. So if you scroll in on the mouse wheel, you can see the difference between flat and smooth. And we want a smooth ring. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Congratulations, you have made your first 3D model and then go to File and Save As, and then this is really important, save it as Ring, and save it inside the assets of your Unity project. Okay, because then when you go back to Unity, it will be right there. And then what we can do is drag this ring out, and um, put the transform at zero, zero, zero. And then I'm going to actually uh, disable this plane that we were using. And um, since it's at zero, 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 it should be right below the cube. Let's go ahead and bring the ring up to right under the cube. And so the ball should fall right inside of it. You can press play and check that if you want. All right, so our ring came in with an unnamed material. Let's go ahead and make a new material by right-clicking and do create. I right-clicking in the project window and then create and material. And let's call this material ring glow because we will make it glow. And then let's drag this onto the ring in the scene view here. Now, if you click on this, you'll be uh, able to make it any color that you like. Um, and not only that, you can make it transparent by switching the rendering mode here to transparent. And then if you click on the color, you can bring that in and make it slightly transparent. I thought it looked cool, uh, a little bit transparent, because it reminded me of maybe like a glass tube, a little bit frosty glass tube. Okay, great. Now, another thing that we have in the ring material, ring glow material, is this emission. And if you check that, we won't see anything because the color's black. And if you bring this up, you'll see that it looks like it's almost lit. Cool. So uh, I want to change this uh, skybox here, this default skybox. Let's just make it a solid color for now. So just click on the main camera and then um, right here where it says uh, clear flags, change it to solid color. And I think that a gray is is fine for right now. We're still we're still working on a mostly empty canvas here and uh, I just like keeping it a classic gray and white. Um, we're gonna get into a color palette soon. Okay, so we have our ring. I'm gonna go back and, and make the uh, color here black, though I, I'm keeping a mission uh, checked on. And what we're going to do is we are going to animate this ring 
glow. Okay, so the ring already has something called an animator on it. Um, what we can do is if you go to window, find the animation window. I have it right here. And what you'll see is that it says, to begin animating ring, create an animation clip. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna animate this ring. We wanna animate this material on the ring. So click create. And then it's asking you, okay, well, we're gonna make a new animation. So let's put this animation. I already have a folder for animations. So I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it ring glow. Great. Okay. So now here's a trick. If we arm this record button here, let's see what it says. Disable keyframe recording mode. So right now we've enabled keyframe recording mode. That means that anything that we click and move will be able to animate. So let's move this to say 20, the playhead to 20. Click on the color and I'm gonna make mine glow yellow. So I'm gonna bring that yellow color about there and what you'll see is that keyframes have been added. And if you scrub the playhead by left clicking and moving, you'll see that it goes from unlit to lit. And then we want it to fade out again. So I'm gonna bring the playhead to maybe say 50 there. Click it again and bring it back down to black. So then I'll disarm this record button and press play and your animation should fire like that. In the next video, we'll get the ball to trigger the glow animation on our ring. See you there.